Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Alex with Crafty Me Geek and today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Today is Wednesday, May the 20th. It has been like two to three weeks since I have filmed any new hauls. I just finished filming a Walmart haul and yeah, I'm trying to get back into this. I've been so pressed on time lately. I'm still working through my lunch breaks. Um, and this month has just disappeared on me. I really don't know where it went. So I have a ton of stuff in my vehicle that I need to film for y'all because I need to get it in the house and I need to get it put away and I need to start using it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get to all of it today. Definitely not in one haul. This is like five hauls worth of stuff in this vehicle I'm talking about. So I'm just going to show you some of the things that I absolutely want to take care of today and I'll have to film again tomorrow or some other time. <laughs> so first off, some office supplies because I would really like to get these into the office tomorrow so that I can start using it. Um, my desk is already organized, but it, you know, it can always be better, I guess. So I decided to pick up a few of these office organizers. This is like a little mail organizer type thing. It has the three little slots here. It is tiered. So I just picked up one of these. If I can't use it at work, I'll just bring it back home and put it on my desk. Uh, sort some mail or something at home so that will get used one way or another. This is definitely for work. I keep paperwork for active jobs sitting next to my monitors and when the cleaning ladies come through or a um, salesperson walks up to my desk they kind of just lay stuff down on my desk and it messes up my organization that I have going so I got this vertical letter tray to kind of keep stuff in order and maybe people won't be laying stuff there because they can see, oh, you know, that that is meant for specific stuff. So that's my hope anyway. Then I got some D batteries. These are, they say they're ideal for low drain devices. I just got them for the paper towel dispensers in my bathroom at work because um, they, we didn't have any D batteries to replace the ones in the paper towel dispenser, so I said I'm not going to wait on someone to go out and buy them for me. I'm just going to buy myself the Dollar Tree. It's fine. So I got that. Next, I got some wipes. These are the Huggies Simply Clean Wipes. These are fragrance free, triple clean layers. Uh, perfect for hands, face, and bottom. Next. I went to my Dollar Tree like mid to late last week after they usually already have all their boxes unpacked. There were no soaps. I went this, I went a few days ago, I think Monday, today's Wednesday, I think I went on Monday, and they only had one of this left one and it wasn't even stocked out on like Thursday or Friday the week before so they sold out quick. This is the Soft Soap Limited Edition Spring Bloom Hand Soap. This is a 5.5 ounce bottle and I have seen a few people haul these. I'm very behind on watching Dollar Tree videos right now. It makes me very sad because I do really enjoy watching other people's videos but I'm just so behind right now that yeah, but I did watch a haul somewhere that someone found one of these, so I have seen it somewhere in a haul. I just don't know where. So I got that. That was the only one there. And then from thumbnails, I saw people were finding a lot more hard candy stuff. Like there's a second wave of hard candy uh, makeup that's been put out. So I walked through the makeup aisle looking for that. I did not find any more new hard candy um, this trip, but I did find some Wet n Wild gel lip balms. These are in the Love 
which is this pinky purple color. It's really pretty. And then also in Kiss, which is clear. So I did get one of each of those. They had several other colors. They had one that was uh, more of a bright red. They had one that was more of a hot pink. They had kind of like an in-between like orangey pink, I think. And they, they did have several different ones, but I just grabbed these two. Um, yeah. It says... Uh, gel lip balm, smooth application, lasting moisture, uh, sheer and glossy. So I figured that I would give those a try. And then I got a few stationary type items. I'm not sure if I've bought these before. I have seen them at one other Dollar Tree in my area before. Um, I know I bought the variation that's a little house. I'm, not, I'm honestly not sure if I filmed it yet though because this is not the oldest stuff. Anyway, I got stickers. I got stickers. I got puffy stickers. These are by Jot. This is 20 pieces and these are cats. I mean, they are absolutely adorable and I just could not pass them up. So I got one of these. And then I got two copies of this little, I don't know exactly what they're calling this because they had another variation that had different animals, but this is kind of like the uh, party animals. I have no idea. Um, nature, I, I, I don't know. But these are bears, alligators, llamas, turtles, snails. So, I thought those were really cute. So, I did get two copies of this one. I couldn't remember if I'd already gotten the cat one or not, so I just got one of those, but I did get two of these. And this one actually is a 38 count pack. And then, again, I'm not sure if I have this or not already, but I got this nine piece sticker set of crafter square these are pop-up stickers and these are pineapple themed i'm not sure if i have these already or not but i thought they were absolutely adorable and if i already have them now i just have to get pits so i can use them a little more freely without being sad that i used the only copy of something <laughs> Okay, and next I found some of the new Crayola Art with Edge coloring books, like adult coloring books. This is 30 pages, um, and this is the Justice League. I thought this was really, really cool. So it has 30 premium coloring pages, heroic feats of coloring, join Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and more Justice League superheroes in their action-packed adventures. So I thought this was really cool. This was the third design that I came across as far as the uh, new nice adult coloring books at the Dollar Tree. I have not hauled the other two yet, so you'll have to stay tuned to find out which designs I found. Hopefully I'll get to film that tomorrow, but yeah, I picked up two copies of this. I thought these were really, really cool, so I got two of those. Next I got food items, or lastly, I got food items. Now, some of these are repeat items. Some of these are repeat purchases that I haven't hauled yet. But I got some more of the Goldfish Baked Tortilla Snacks. Me and my boyfriend really like these. I know they were kind of a hit or miss with some people. There were some that really didn't like them, but we enjoyed them, so I got some more. 
This is the Epic Crunch Big Ranch flavor. And then I got the Epic Crunch Nacho flavor. I got went ahead and got one of each of those as well again. And then a new flavor at the Dollar Tree is Honey Barbecue. So I did go ahead and get one of those as well to try it. I think I might have gotten two of the Honey Barbecue, but I'm only seeing one bag. So if I did get two, I don't know where the other went. It might have fallen out in the floorboard somewhere. We'll find out eventually. Um, and then I have been making a lot of uh, trail mixes and snack mixes and stuff for my boyfriend to just grab and go for work and for me to grab and go for work. So I picked up some of these tahine peanuts. So I, I thought that'd be really cool to throw into a trail mix. So I did get some of that. This is a 2.75 ounce bag. So yeah, I got one of those. And it says that this is mild, so I'm guessing they have um, some variations that have some more heat to it, but these are the mild ones. And then I found this Kraft Slow Simmered Sweet Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. This is 18 ounces, so this is a full-size bottle of barbecue sauce. This is the Sweet Brown Sugar by Kraft. I haven't seen this type of barbecue at my Dollar Tree before. The Sweet Brown Sugar, I've seen Kraft barbecue before. I've seen other brands of barbecue sauce before, but not this particular one. And this just sounded really good to me. So I did go ahead and pick up one of these. And then the last items that I have to share today are espresso monster these are 8.4 ounces this one this blue one is vanilla cream triple shot and the red one is espresso and cream triple shot now i've said before that i personally don't really drink energy drinks they give me heart palpitations they make me anxious they kind of make me overheat to a bit but my boyfriend and his friends do, so I did get these for them to try. I do love my coffee though, so I might go ahead and give one of these a try just to see if I can drink these or not. I do love me some uh, Java Monster, so I figured I might give some of those a try. I got one of each this time. But I also got one of each another time, and they're still back here somewhere. I'm going to have to dig them out so I can take them in the house. But, yeah. <laughs> and that is everything that I have to share with you this time. I do have tons of, tons more items. Tons more items? I have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to share with y'all. So make sure you come back in a few days and I should have some more items to share with you. So I'd like to say thank you for stopping by and joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons down below. It would really help out this channel. And I would like to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who has already hit subscribe because this month we hit 400 subscribers here on this channel. So thank you all so very, very much. I really do truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all stay safe out there and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.